miss autumn. I miss autumn so much. I miss the leaves. I miss the cool temperatures. I miss sitting outside with a bonfire. All the things that autumn is. I miss it. One of those things that I feel like kind of encapsulates, encapsulates. You know what I mean. Everything that I feel like represents autumn. I'm going to be reading Sylvia Plath. The thing is, I feel like I missed every single day of poetry class. I have a real hard time deciphering poetry. So you might be saying, Christine, why are you starting with Sylvia Plath? Debatably, a very difficult poet to read. <laughs> I don't know. I like torturing myself. I thought it'd be fun. I think this is going to kind of get me into the world of poetry a little bit like, you know? Uh, but I think if I dedicate to it, it'll be fine. I think I'll enjoy it and I think I'll come out with a new appreciation for a different form of writing that I didn't think of before. Uh, this is me reading Sylvia Plath and trying to feel autumn and serotonin. Hey, so I just realized I didn't even mention what Sylvia Plath poetry I was going to be reading from and where I was going to be getting this poetry. I'm actually getting it from Sylvia Plath, The Colossus. This just happened to be the one that I have on my shelf. Uh, and I think I'll be able to get through it today, hopefully, all of it. I think it's gonna be a lot of research and a lot of looking up information on Sylvia Plath and learning about her. So I think that's where I'm gonna start of learning about her life. And then I'm gonna delve into the poetry because if I learned anything from <laughs> high school English class, it's you look into the author before you start reading the book. Finished doing the kind of researchy part about Sylvia Plath. Learned that like her father died when she was like eight. Uh, she started writing poetry when she was like eight, or maybe she published it when she was 10. There were a lot of ages that were set. Her father died when she was very young and she never really uh, recovered from that. And then she was in a relationship with Ted Hughes and Colossus, the Colossus and other poems is actually the first, I think, collection of poems that she ever released. I have gotten through the iMote. I read the iMote last, so I'm five poems in. Um, each one I have had to go online and like search up what theme. I read it first and I try to see what I get from it and then I go and see what the actual themes are and like what people get from it. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do with poetry, but like that's what I'm doing and so far it's working. It's helping me kind of figure out what I'm supposed to be looking for a little bit. So far my favorite one has been iMote and also Sal was a really good one. I really like and iMote. Those have been my favorite so far. I don't know if like reading poetry is just too intellectual for me or I just don't get it. Maybe I take things too literally and I can't look at things symbolically. That's kind of where we're at. I'll update later and figure out what's going on. read a few more poems and I'm starting to really enjoy them. I'm starting to kind of get the way that she uses nature in her poems to symbolize uh, things like people and places and stuff like that. It's going a little bit better. I'm taking some time outside so I'm playing fetch with Wicket and we're having a good time. That's kind of what's going on. I've been back inside and I've been reading for about an hour. I'm currently on page 
42 at the ghost's leave taking. I'm gonna be honest, I'm starting to get really into it. I'm kind of being a little bit more lax with myself and letting myself just kind of be kind of swept away by the words and the way that Sylvia Plath writes is very much like she's painting with the words. I kind of just want to sit and enjoy it rather than try to analyze it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I put off reading Sylvia Plath for a while just because I don't, something about it feels pretentious, but like I've heard a lot of people really loved her for her early feminist writings and just her depictions of grief and depression. But I've also heard that she is a big sad girl in high school read, which I think is kind of aggressive toward teenage girls, I feel like. People as a whole, I guess, uh, just are so mean to teenage girls and things that teenage girls like. Anyway, that ADHD. Woo. Sylvia Plath, I'm very much enjoying it. Maybe bake something. I think I'm gonna bake some banana nut muffins. And yeah, we're gonna probably do that. Okay. Okay, so, The Colossus. I really enjoyed spending the day with Sylvia Plath. I think I might have misjudged her maybe as a poet. I think I saw her work as much more like hardcore feminism. And overall, it's just kind of sad and dreary and gray, but also like there's hope. And that's always kind of nice to pick out, I guess. Did I understand? 80% of it? Maybe? It's definitely heavier than a lot of stuff that I tend to read. I enjoyed pushing myself uh, to actually read the poems and try to have an idea of what they actually meant and to just in general learn about a new author. I know Sylvia Plath. I've known of Sylvia Plath, but like I've never read her stuff. Anyway. W would I read Beljar? Absolutely. Uh, I just don't think I'm a poetry person. Um, poetry, I've never been in love with. I just, I don't click with it. If you have a favorite poet and you enjoy reading poetry, please let me know of any, good, of any, I shouldn't say good, because Sylvia Plath is good. I did enjoy a lot of what I read. Some of what I read, I just, I really connected with. I'm not gonna say like, send me good authors because Sylvia Plath is good. I'm not gonna sit here and say Sylvia Plath isn't good. No, send me poetry that maybe is an easier in for, somebody looking to get into poetry i guess because maybe this way isn't the best way to do it just throwing myself into the deep end with sylvia plath but i did enjoy my time there were definite favorites that i read that i loved really really hit me deep that was a fun day thanks for coming along with me i guess i hope you had fun too and like and subscribe i guess to the channel if you want i'd like it if you did that'd be really cool okay <laughs> anyway i'll i'll see you